Welcome to CS212. Now, in this class, you're going to be learning by example. So I will pose some problems to you, and you'll get a chance to create your solution. And then I'll show you and discuss my solution. It's important to note that there's more than one way to approach a problem. And I don't mean that my solution is the only way or the best way. My solutions are there to help you learn a style and some techniques for programming. But if you solve problems a different way, uh, that's fine. Good for you. All the learning that goes on happens inside of your head, not inside of my head. So what's important is that you understand the relation between your code and my code, that you get the right answer by writing out the solution yourself, and then you can examine my code and maybe pick up some pointers and some techniques that you can use later. For example, suppose I ask you to compute the sum of a list of numbers. Here's the mathematical formula, and I ask you to write a function, which we'll call SS for sum of squares, which takes a list of numbers as input. If you've taken CS101, you might write a solution like this. We'll initialize the total to be zero, We'll go through the indices of the numbers, and for each one, we'll increment the total by the square of the number, and then when we're done, we'll return the total. So that's a perfectly good solution. Uh, no problems with that whatsoever. If you're able to come up with that, you've done your job. But then after you come up with your solution, I'll show you mine, and mine might look like this, same function definition, but I might prefer a functional style rather than a sequential style where I'm saying return the sum of the squares of, of uh, x for each x in numbers. Now, maybe you've never seen something like this before. Maybe you didn't know about the uh, sum uh, function. Maybe you didn't know about this type of uh, generator expression in line. Uh, so this might all be new to you. The important point is that this solution of yours is just as valid as mine. So what I want you to do is just compare your solution to my solution and see if there's anything interesting or new in mine that you might uh, pick up. I don't want you to say, hey, that's not fair, Peter. You introduced some new idea that I haven't seen before. Don't let that make you upset. Instead, I want you to say, oh, my solution works, but this is interesting too, and here's something new. I want you to be happy that you learned something new and proud that you came up with a solution that was just as good, but happened to just use some different techniques. So remember, learning is not me saying something and uh, pouring that into your head. Rather, learning is what goes on inside of your head. And it's up to you to make use of what I show you so that you can learn. This class is an apprenticeship. You learn first by observing, then by trying it yourself when the next example comes up, and then finally, you'll know you really got it down when you can take what you've learned and teach it to someone else, maybe in the forums or maybe outside of class. Now, one final point. The problems in this class are hard. The best learning takes place when you're challenged, and this class will challenge you. Don't worry if you don't get everything on the first try. Use the forums to ask questions. View the videos more than once if you think that helped. Give yourself time to let new ideas sink in. You may have to see them multiple times before it makes sense. So don't worry about uh, having to review multiple times or, or ask for help. It's hard, but it's fun hard. So welcome to the class. Good luck. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.